At least 32 people were killed and 46 residents are missing in an island province in central Philippines after Typhoon Kaitak brought heavy rains that triggered landslides, local authorities and media said. Kaitak cut power supplies in many areas, forced the cancellation of several flights, stranded more than 15,000 people in various ports in the region and prompted nearly 88,000 people to seek shelter in evacuation centers. Many areas were flooded damaging crops and infrastructure. Locally known as Erdaja, Kaitak weakened to a tropical depression after barreling through the eastern region of Isias on Saturday, hitting islands and coastal towns such as Tacloba City where Super Typhoon Hia claimed 8,000 lives in 2013. President Rodrigo Duterte is expected to visit the worst-hit typhoon areas later in the day to assess the damage. Maoist rebels have attacked soldiers delivering relief aid to parts of the central Philippines where the typhoon struck. Military spokesman Colonel Egad Arevalo said two soldiers were wounded when about 50 rebels of the New People's Army, NPA, the military arm of a communist movement, fired on a convoy of troops carrying relief aid on Samar Island on Saturday. The NPA has yet to comment on the accusation and it was not possible to contact the group due to power outages and disrupted communications. The Philippines has not declared a Christmas truce with the rebels for the first time in three decades after President Duterte halted peace talks and this month designated the NPA a terrorist organization. The attacks only validated the aptness of the government's decision to terminate the peace negotiations and to discontinue the traditional Christmas truce. Colonel Arevalo said. The 3,000 member Maoist rebel forces have been waging a protracted guerrilla war for nearly 50 years in a conflict that has killed more than 40,000 people and stunted growth in resource rich rural areas. The Philippines also faces Islamist insurgencies in the south. The NPA guerrillas have been targeting mines, plantations, and other businesses, demanding revolutionary taxation to finance arms purchases and recruitment. Mina Maresiga, spokeswoman for the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council, called on the NPA to halt the violence. This is not an armed conflict, she said, adding the rebels should let relief work to go unhampered. Ms. Maresiga said emergency workers were working around the clock to restore power, clear debris and make roads and bridges possible to allow humanitarian assistance to reach about 220,000 people affected by the storm. Reuters